Because we were on the same page about this guy. Like, Ben Simmons, he's he's now, to me, underrated. And I know he hasn't gotten better. Um, And he's kind of the same player he was since, since college, since his freshman year. He came from Australia, wherever he's from. And But we had the same sentiment. Shout out to Kill. Philly guys do not like him. They hate the fact that he's on there. And I'm like, yo, he's being mismanaged. Like, you got to understand, he's not just there by luck. This is not just a six to foot ten dude that no, he's a defensive specialist. Specialist. That means he has a, a skill set that nobody else, barely anyone else has in the world. He's there for a reason. He just shouldn't, he should be more Draymond Green than he is attempting to be Steph Curry or anyone else. He should never shoot the ball that much. But what why do you feel like he's being underrated or he's being, you know, okay. under the bus? Let me right, let me comment on something you said though. When people say he hasn't gotten better, right? This is what I'll throw back. Tell me a player within the last three to five years that has gotten better. Kevin Durant got better, or he's been the same player for the past how many years? Just, just being honest. Like, Russell Westbrook, has he gotten any better, or does he make the same mental mistakes he's been making since he's been in the league? James Harden, has he gotten better? So I, I feel um, people... Because if you really think about it, people only really want to talk about LeBron. Don't nobody really want to talk about nobody else on TV. Okay. So now people use the Ben Simmons thing, and it's like, oh, oh, snap. I don't want to curse. Oh, snap. We got something else besides, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Remember, it's like something dropping your lap. It's like, oh, shit. We got something else to talk about besides LeBron. Mm. And I think people is, is taking it. Like, I argue with my guys all day, and them, it's all our opinions, it's all out of fun and love. But I tell them, you can't call somebody a bum. That's why I put up on my page the other day, is he better than Lonzo Ball? If he better than Lonzo Ball, how is he a bum? But some people are saying Lonzo is better, and I'm telling people, that's why I call myself all ball. I don't get into the personal. I don't care about what you do off the court. I care about what you do on the court. And at the end of the day, if you got a guy that's 6'10", that wants to pass the ball, that's strong as an ox, can play defense, can finish at the rim strong, who cares if he can't shoot? Everybody can't shoot the NBA. So, you know, I, I, I feel people is going hard at him because it's, uh, it's trending. It's the fun thing to do. And people using that one layup that he gave up. And I told my man, I said, yo, it only happened one time. Though. Think about it. That's the only thing people say. If you really think about it, the pushback for that is is that kind of embodies who he is for anyone who's critiquing him like that, and they're saying, "Yo, you ain't getting better, and you not shooting a, shooting the layup is like that's the easiest shot possible. This is your biggest flaw, you know what I mean? And it's like you're not even willing to do that. So this is the issue. Again, they're gonna we'll talk we'll talk about Kyrie in a second. It's the same thing with him. What you're saying. That is the thing that people hone in on is like your biggest flaw because even LeBron gets that. How can we shit on you? Because that's going to be the page six news. That's the gossip part of, of basketball. And really, you got to be a spectacular diva type of, of athlete in any other sport to get this kind of attention. Like Odell Beckham is the only one I could think of in football that gets this kind of attention. A lot of them do, but it's yeah. always from Tom Brady. But this is a special guy. So I think with Ben... They do hone in too much on his flaws. But even now, business-wise, I think Rich Paul is the agent, right? The clutch sports or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, them dudes is crazy. Go ahead, though. <laughs> I, That's a whole nother story. Go ahead, though. It is, but it's part of the problem. At some point, he, he, he was also the agent of, of Anthony Davis. That means Rich Paul sat down with the Hornets and told them, hey, look, he doesn't want to be here. But he's going to sit out. You might as well say that you're sitting him down because then we won't lose the trade leverage. And that's the business side of things. So there's a lot to the Ben Simmons thing that I think we we can point to. But the way even when I propose, like, I think they should trade. If the Nets are going to make a trade for him, I, I doubt it. It would be for Kyrie. You, I remember you saying you'd rather it be now, James Harden. Now, real quick before we uh move forward. Mm-hmm. 
This is what people have to realize with the Ben Simmons situation. Now, if he stink it, now remember, for me, he that he never stunk it up. He had a bad series. He he has to be accountable for that. So I'm not I'm not being biased. I'm not on his side. No, I'm not saying he doesn't deserve no type of blame. So I'm definitely not saying that. But let's all of us played basketball before. You don't have to be, you don't have to have played professional to understand what I'm about to say. How many times have you played with somebody on the court or you played for a coach? And if you didn't get along with them and didn't like them, your body language showed it. And on the court, you didn't want to do anything. So can we try to understand it may be deeper than basketball? So if a, if an all-star great player only shoots one time in the fourth quarter in four, five, six games, you don't think it's something behind that? So totally. once again, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not taking away from the fact that he shouldn't. Uh, he was wrong for that. He was wrong for not taking shots. Um, he should have dunked the ball or took that layup. So I'm not. I'm just saying. Sometimes we gotta look deeper into things. Doc Rivers, and I've been saying this for a while. He's a very over. Like I said, I'm a black man. I root for black men. But this ain't got nothing to do with that. Right is right, wrong is wrong, facts is facts. To me, he's not a good coach. He's never been a good coach. Um, he's not a he's not a, a player's coach. To me, that narrative, they gotta stop that. Um remember when Rondo first got there, him and Rondo ain't get along. Remember, they said Rondo was young, he wouldn't be able to lead the team of veterans, he couldn't shoot. Remember, we heard all this before. He had a problem with Chris Paul in, in L.A. with Blake Griffin and him. He threw uh, Paul George under the bus. And he, so, so we also have to look at that stuff. And then also... He also look, threw Ben Simmons under the bus. Right. That, that's, that's my point. And then look what Ben Simmons is going through with his, his, his brother, so-called teammate, Joel Embiid. What so, do you think is that? Because I, I never heard Embiid... Maybe I, I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear Embiid critique well, him that hard, though. Well, it was it was riffs maybe a year or two ago with him and Embiid, I heard. Um, and you got to remember, yo, the media is crazy. They <laughs> flip-flop so much. Like, I used to be a big Colin Cowherd guy, right? Because to me, he brought something different to the table. But now he's with the same circus. On YouTube, yo, they might have took it down a couple years ago. I remember it was big, it was big news about um, should Philly keep either Ben Simmons or Joel and B. People was going so hard to get rid of Joel and B. Remember, Ben Simmons is the next LeBron. He younger, he this, he that. Look, within two years now, how we just flip. So with Ben, remember, we all human beings. We flesh. We get sense of we we, we just, you know what I'm saying. If the organization ain't supporting you, if some of your players ain't supporting you, if your coach is throwing you under the bus, what else he supposed to do? How are you supposed to go home? That's home. How are you supposed to feel comfortable? Forget home. Yeah, right. Forget home. How how are you supposed to be? Listen, we all was like we all like I said, you you're not a ball player if you never had an attitude on the court with a player or a coach, and you was on the court. And your mom frame was going, if they pass me the ball, I'm not shooting. Huh? God bless the dead. Kobe did it in the playoffs. Against Phoenix. It may be wrong to try to prove that point. So, like I said, I'm not I'm not dismissing uh what Ben Simmons did, but I think the flack he's getting, and even from uh just real quick, even mm-hmm. from Charles Barkley and Shaq, Charles Barkley telling them. Barkley and I'm fans of these dudes. Like to me, Inside NBA is the best sports show ever. Ever, ever. I think everyone agrees with that. But Charles Barkley critiquing them, and I'm saying to myself, like Yo, Barkley, you was the guy that said you gained weight because you didn't want a certain team to draft you. Shaq, I, yo, I love Shaq. Shaq is in my top five. Like my top five of all time is weird. I get flack for it all the time. I love Shaq. Me too. But don't make a comment and go. Yo, we don't want to see you post pictures on Instagram of your cars and girls and this and that. Philly ain't about that. Shaq, he was a rapper. Right. What are you talking about? <laughs> he's, he's forgetting. What are you? Shaq, you're forgetting Shaq. Yeah, but like, yeah. yeah. so that's why, that's why I'm like, yo, it's trendy. It's the thing to just jump on this kid like that. But I don't think he deserved all the flack he's getting. 
People was calling him bums. Some of my guys on live say he's a liability. So now if Ben Simmons played horrible this year, I got to eat crow. Mm. I got to agree with dudes. So, but all right. If he's that's, out, I, I think we're saying the, I'm sorry. I'm, I think we're saying the same thing. Yeah. All right. We understand the criticism. But the other side to it is Doc Rivers is pretty much way more heralded as a coach because he won than Ben Simmons is as a player. So why? Because he, he won the ring. He didn't win the ring without Thibodeau since then. So Ben deserves a chance to at least redeem himself. Because, again, we talked about his super skill, which is, which is defense. And all he has to do is tweak his shot. That's all he has to do. And no, he hasn't shown it, but... Bro, my thing was, um, we don't have to transition yet, but the new environment with the Nets, we're on the same page. Him being around Doc Rivers is not helping. Embiid is a self-motivator, he's a self-starter, whatever it is, he got better, he's better at shooting, whatever the game case may be. Yes, he's able to do that, but for whatever reason, your job as a head coach, general manager, is way more important than anybody's in the league, in, in, in sports. What's his flaw? How do we put him in a better position? Should we take the ball out of his hands? That's your job. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and and I just had an argument with my guy, too, because they were trying to kill him. And um, I was saying that we all know when you're a young player, like I said, LeBron is rare. So when LeBron came out of high school, we already knew the league was going to be his. So it's about so much you could tell him to do with him. Let's Let's all be honest. With Ben Simmons, whatever the coach tell you you got to do on the court, whatever position they tell you got to play, that's what you got to do, whether you like it or not. Let's all be realistic. If 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 they go, yo, remember, Ben is not a point guard. We need to all realize that. He's not a point guard. Right. Especially in a half court set. Full court, he can do that. Now, listen, Gilbert Arenas, I put on my post. Gilbert Arenas, and I've been saying this for a minute. Like I said, people, you can go on my page. That's why I don't erase nothing. Gilbert even said it. He was like, yo, they not using them right. He like, yo, how you not using them like Giannis? Until you can stop me, I'm going crazy. I'm 6'10", I'm strong. Can't nobody guard me. My only problem with Ben is he don't have to fix the shot. Just take the shot. Who cares right. if you make it? Right. Well, I think that's don't never make no shots. Right, and he's still shooting them. He's that's you a different. You just gotta topic. take it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Just, just you just gotta. You ain't gotta never shoot no three, but in that free throw area, you wide open. Who cares if you brick it? If you airball it, just take the shot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So you know, even, I, Russell, I, I, go ahead, even go ahead. going to when Russell going to LA, it's really. I mean, Vo, I like Vogel as a coach because he's been he was good on the Pacers as well, but. LeBron is going to change everything for him. You have a guy there. He's not really vocal. He's not the rah-rah alpha that everybody, you know, story time alpha guy that Michael Jordan was and Kobe was. That's not LeBron. But he is helping these guys. And you and you have more of a chance to win. He's a computer geek up there in his head where he knows all the stats. He's going to tell Westbrook as nice as he possibly can, don't shoot from there anymore. I need you over there. Because that's he's a computer. So I think the same thing with Ben Simmons. He goes to the Nets or even Golden State. We're talking about not just basketball players that are talent that's around them. It's the talent upstairs. I think that's really – we're on the same page about that. They're not putting him in the right position. And the Nets, Steve Nash and the organization, Sean Marks, I love this guy for coming out and even asking and calling Kevin Durant about checking his man, checking the temperature. We gave you a four-year deal. All right, is your boy in line? Because there's another superstar available and we're willing to trade him.